hey guys what's up and welcome once again to my channel today i am showing you guys a tutorial on how i achieve my sleek bun i'm gonna be using my leave-in conditioner styling cream both by talia wajid some scrunchies hair tools water my diy oil and some eco styler gel so starting off this is a three day old twist out that i'm now going to brush the heck out of and the first thing that i do is i apply some of that oil all over my scalp just to you know add a bit of moisture and really just let it soak up and sit in my scalp so that i do not have any flakes or any dry spots because although this is a sleek bun, I do like to ensure that my scalp is moisturized, especially with um, all the tugging and pulling that I'm about to do. And yeah, I just massage that into my scalp. Next up, I grab my mini rat tail comb and I begin my part. And usually whenever I do this bun, I really love a side part. I feel like when I do my middle parts with um, this bun, I tend to look a bit, you know, small headed like my head looks really small so I just prefer the side part to give you know just that nice office slash assistant look <laughs> and just really making sure that my part is nice and clean I then go ahead and begin to detangle with my wide tooth comb starting from the ends up towards the root So once I'm done detangling, I then go in with some water and I spritz my end as well as the rest of my hair and pretty much just lightly misting this so that I can apply that first layer of moisture and then I just massage it in with my hands, just really working it into the hair shaft as well as my ends and you know just making sure that my hair has gotten a light mist of water. And then the next thing that I do is I go in with that daily leave-in conditioner by Talia Wajid. This leaves my hair really, really soft. So I love spritzing plenty of this on my ends as well as the rest of my hair. And this also makes detangling a breeze. And it also um, ensures not only just moisture, but just that my hair is really soft. And therefore, it makes the bun come out even better, in my opinion, at least. And then I just repeat the same steps and massage that in the same way that I did with the water, focusing on my ends and just, you know, squeezing it into the rest of my hair shaft. Then I go in with the Talia Wajid Natural Hair Styling Cream and this is my go-to whenever I'm doing this style or whenever I'm doing any type of protective style. And I just mainly focus that on my ends as well as the rest of my hair, but more so my ends because they are going to be tucked away with this style. And then I just lightly apply it to the rest of my hair and begin to further detangle with my trusty Denman brush. And this is what also helps to give that really nice sleek blown out look. Mind if I play you a little something real quick? I don't know. The last time you went on so next up is the Eco Styler Gel and coating that with both hands, I begin applying that layer of gel that is going to give that super sleek and neat look that I'm going for. And I just normally start off at my edges, which is the most important area, and then I apply the rest of the gel onto the rest of my hair and just on the area where the bun is and just smooth that on down and as I'm smoothing I then go in with my Denman brush to ensure that there are no knots and tangles because I want this bun to look as neat as possible and you know when you get like those bumps as you start you know collecting your hair like that's what I'm trying to avoid so that's why I go in with my Denman brush 
and then once my hair starts taking the shape that I want it to I just start pulling it down in order to prep it for my scrunchies and put it in that bun Then going in with my smoothing brush, and this one is by Revlon. This is what also ensures that I have a super sleek pulled back look. I absolutely love this brush whenever I have to lay down my edges or whenever I'm doing any sort of, you know, top knot or sleek bun. That is my go-to. And now I'm just grabbing two scrunchies. These are um, by Goodie Band and I'm just looping my hair through those scrunchies four times and you're gonna see me struggle on the fourth try because my hair is getting a lot thicker and I'm also trying to avoid not to pop the scrunchies so yeah let me know in the comments down below if you've had your scrunchies pop on you I'm sure you have now applying a little bit more gel just because I am OCD when it comes to like little flyaway hairs and then you know doing the little Elvis move here and smoothing them hairs down <laughs> with the Revlon brush I'm pretty much just ensuring that everything is in place and then I go in with my Denman brush to detangle the rest of my hair in case I feel any extra knots and whatever and now I just split that hair into two and I just do one large chunky twist so that's what I'm doing her And then grabbing a little bit of the styling cream, I just that, apply that to my ends and then smooth it on and pretty much just loop that twist into a bun. And I'm just going to secure it with some bobby pins. So once everything has been secured, this is pretty much what the bun is looking like. Really neat, shiny, and tucked away. And then I just slap on my satin scarf and I'm going to let that set and sit in my hair while I do my makeup. So this is also like the holy grail product. <laughs> A satin scarf saves lives when you have to lay down your edges or you just have to lay down your hairs. This is just that necessary step for me. So yeah. And bam, a girl is back. Her face is done and I'm ready to go. And literally all I do is just take down the satin scarf and voila. My bun is complete, it's looking super moisturized, really nice and sleek, hairs are laid down and this is just the easiest, quickest style ever. So sorry if this is like too many steps but I just like to make sure that my scalp and everything is pretty much protected because I am applying plenty of gel as you guys saw. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial and we'll be trying it out. Slapping on my glasses to complete the look and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks so much. Love ya. Bye.